I focus this round with ideal. You know, in this video, I will specifically show you how to trace wires in walls, floors, and ceilings using the sure trace circuit tracer from ideal. The circuit tracer can be used in either open or closed circuits and is rated for up to 600 volts AC or DC and is a category three rated tester. So it can be safely used in electrical distribution panels and throughout a building. You can use it to identify breakers and fuses in electrical panels and to trace wires in the building. Now, when you're using the circuit tracers to trace live circuits, folks, please be safe out there and follow good industry safety practices. Step one is to plug the transmitter into a wall outlet using the outlet plug adapter provided with the circuit tracer. Holding the receiver near the transmitter shows that it is receiving a signal and the lightning bolt indicates power is present on the circuit. The receiver works by detecting the electromagnetic field produced by the signal that the transmitter injects into the circuit. Whether the circuit is open or closed greatly affects the strength of the electromagnetic field being generated. In an open circuit, no current flows, so the electromagnetic field produced is weak. However, in a closed circuit, current is able to flow, resulting in a much stronger electromagnetic field. For this reason, tracing is best carried out on a live circuit with the breaker closed. We can provide a complete path for the current to flow by simply placing a load, like an incandescent lamp, on the furthest outlet in the circuit. This is the optimal method for tracing as this much stronger signal allows the receiver to detect the signal from a greater distance away from the circuit being traced. The receiver has four sensitivity modes with great resolution from 0 to 99. The ability to change the sensitivity really helps in trying to trace cabling because you can select a high sensitivity setting to get you close to the cable you're looking for and then reduce it to zero in on the right one. Step two is to set the receiver to the highest sensitivity mode. Start several feet away from the transmitter, then scan the wall with the receiver with the back flat against the wall or ceiling. The reading will vary according to the orientation of the receiver in relation to the wires being traced. Step three, rotate the receiver to obtain the highest numerical reading possible. Then step four, maintain that orientation and trace the wires. Changing orientation is necessary to follow bends and signal strength while tracing. If the reading is too high, reduce the sensitivity. If the signal is too weak, utilize the remote return path method for the transmitter. Then repeat step two. Continue tracing along the wall, ceiling, or floor in the direction of the signal. Step five is to mark the path at intervals using a small piece of tape to indicate the cable's location. As the cable direction changes, so too will the signal strength and the orientation of the receiver. Continue following the highest reading until the end of the cable is found. Call the Ideal Customer Service Line or visit our website to find out more about the circuit tracer and a local distributor you can buy one from. I tell people tracing wires behind walls or ceilings is a little bit of an art form. Not always an easy thing to do, but using the right tool, like the SureTrace Circuit Tracer, makes that job a lot easier to do. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Ron with Ideal.